But uh, look at the amount of bikes that we speed. The beauty of LA right here, folks. We're good. Dude, this street is nuts, right? This street is it. Oh, oh my. We're gonna start seeing what's going on out here. I never knew that. How are we doing, folks? Welcome back to the channel today. Uh, it's a beautiful, sunny afternoon. We just had historic rain out here in LA. Uh, we're right on the edge of downtown LA right now. We're kind of going to check out parts of downtown, but we're mainly going to do Skid Row. Uh, Skid Row is the most dangerous part of all of LA, everywhere. The entire thing, top to bottom, South Central, Compton, everything. Technically downtown, but if you read between the lines, it's pretty obvious you're talking about Skid Row. Fun fact, I used to ride through Skid Row every single day, Monday through Sunday, every day. Sometimes I'd ride through there at like midnight, 1 a.m. It's a busy day in the afternoon. Lakers game going on and a few other things so should be a fun day fully charged Saron of course if you guys want to support me and possibly win uh, Saron for yourself I'm giving away ultra B Hicksfam.com every dollar spent there gives you one entry to win it and it supports me to make these videos for you guys so thank you let's go look at what we got above us very rare the Goodyear blimp Hey, just like Ice Cube said, today was a good day. Or at least hopefully it will be. I don't know yet. We're just getting started. <laughs> All right, off we go. Right here on the edge of downtown, we got a truck towing another truck. Uh, this is all insurance stuff, body work, uh, properties like that. We're right here on the border of downtown. It is always so hard to find parking on a Lakers game day. Today is a Lakers game day. So, hello. The city is a little bit busier than it usually is, or than I would say it is on a normal day. This little underpass gets a little crazier every time I come down it. And uh, today is no exception. It's a little bit more like actual artwork though so one other thing we're going to check out today i'm sure you may or may not have actually seen this on the news is that big high rise that our graffiti artists are tagging up on we can probably actually see it oh yeah you can see it from right here it's <laughs> it's pretty much uh that's kind of the talk of the town out here in downtown lately you know what's funny i was talking about this with dan the man last time we were sitting out here we have been this like we always hang out at the staples center right which is really close to the crypto arena which is what's right here in this big building we didn't even notice this was happening like we hang out here all the time but until it started showing up on the news we weren't even paying attention to the fact that it was tagged up like here's a perfect shot i'm gonna zoom in so you can see you know the high rise on the left i think it's the most prominent one from this angle that we're coming at there's a uh, lakers game tonight so we're not really gonna bother that much with the crypto arena we're gonna try and like you know go around it as much as possible but this is Holy what I wanted to get through. It is way too crowded today. We're not even gonna bother. We got all the black SUVs. That usually means that uh, you know the talent is here. Downtown LA, these streets are not one of my favorite places to ride the Saron in because it's just a little too hectic, especially days like this, game day, and on top of all that, right next to the crypto arena, the traffic is just absolutely hectic. We're gonna slow it down, get in the gutter lane, and creep along for a hot second. We got right turns. We're actually gonna pop up right here. That's the same cop I saw at the beginning. He's like looking for somebody. He's, uh, he's riding around hunting. Got that hunt. Okay, we got two motorcycle cops right in front of us. I don't really want to ride past them right now. <laughs> I feel like there's so much chaos they wouldn't even notice me. If anyone's gonna mess with me on a Suron, yeah, they don't even see me. It would be motorcycle cops, but I mean in downtown it's still it's still like a free-for-all. I feel like this time last year, I was saying like, dude, LA is like a free-for-all for Saron riding. That I kind of think is quickly changing. There's just so many factors that tie into it. There's uh, another motorcycle cop. Looks like he doesn't really care. The point I'm trying to get to here is that in downtown, we I think is like, this is the last hold off for like semi-chill places to ride where the cops don't care. Past that, it's down, it's in the hood. It's down in South Central. It's going past the 10 freeway going south down Fig. Out there, I feel like it's, it's gonna kind of endlessly be a free-for-all. You gotta kind of know what you're getting yourself into. You gotta watch out for a whole different crowd of elements. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta watch your own back, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. You have to be in charge of yourself in kind of a different way. And I understand that a lot of people just won't ride there anyway because uh you know maybe they're not comfortable with it or whatever the case may be i grew up all up and down la so there's no like one area that i'm like quote unquote afraid of i've kind of been everywhere you know so i know what to expect anytime i go ride anywhere that you guys see me ride on camera right i know exactly what i'm getting myself into but if you don't then uh i don't think i'd be able to suggest it we're literally just cutting through traffic right now and it is dense we're going to do a little bit of navigating check this alley 
I actually thought there's dead ends, but we got a little shortcut. Got some cool artwork back there. We can totally get back there if we wanted to, but there's like nothing. Nothing of uh, of note. So I feel like ever since these uh, the, those high rises, look, we can still see them from over here. I, since that's become like a thing in the news, there's been a huge influx of graffiti artists uh, coming and getting active out here in downtown LA. I feel like it's becoming very common again. When I used to live out here, you would see a lot of graffiti artists getting up in random places like there'd probably be like some artwork right here over here it was much more ubiquitous so to speak but now it was low-key for a while and now it's kind of back on the up and up so to speak could just be me what i pay attention to but anyways so we're right here on 11th and broadway we're gonna shoot down the street oh, it's kind of like a sidewalk top all right we're gonna cut through the fashion district and then make a left and that's gonna put us firmly in the middle of skid row so between here and there, we're just gonna see a bunch of crazy stuff basically, because this is where the chaos starts. Oh my god, scat pack just parked out front. All right, a little bit of alley exploration. We got some, uh... interesting, what is this? Huh, I, I feel like I would have noticed this a thousand times, the fact that this huge lot is open. And able to be ridden there's a small camp right here we're not going to try and disturb anybody but i do want to explore a little bit huh big standing body of water it looks like uh that's the uh outside of a tarp type of thing interesting another little small camp right there Womp. <laughs> this is definitely something that i have not been able to ride through ever this has to be at least somewhat new because I don't remember this being accessible ever. Any part of this uh, back area. Semi rugged terrain, but we ain't worried about it on the Suron. Oh my God. Okay, I thought that was poop. I think it's just like rotten bananas, but <laughs> you can never tell out here. You, gotta, you always gotta keep a double eye out. This is kind of a route. It's kind of, it's kind of sketch with that boots. I do not want to hit something. Ooh. Oh man, <laughs> we just kind of rolled over whatever was in the way. In my head, that was more of a jump than it actually turned out to be. Who knows what I'm riding over, dude. I'm just going over literally whatever is in the way. All right, well, that's cool. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. I never knew that. Whoa. <laughs> okay it may be time for some new tires we straight up lost traction entirely there and we throttle it see part of that is these gloves i don't have the proper control over my throttle that i want to have with these gloves they're a little too bulky so it doesn't really feel like hands that's one reason a lot of people don't wear gloves ever because they you know for a lot of people it restricts the uh the natural motion of your hand when you're doing stuff like when a lot of people just don't ever wear gloves i usually don't either because it's like it's very nice to have the the natural hand feel on the grips for more control and honestly i feel the same way on the Suron, but i wear gloves just because i don't know now i feel weird without it it's kind of like if i was gonna ride without a helmet like i feel weird not wearing it i mean plus the helmet is how i film so i I gotta wear it at this point. There's no uh, riding this bike without rocking the full face. Got a photo shoot going on right there, very cool. Cool artwork over here. We're entering the fashion district. So we're pretty much on the border of Skid Row when we're right here. Uh, lots of sights and sounds. This is the actual alley on the right. I wonder if we can ride through it. Let's see how busy it is. That's not too busy. I think we can get away with sneaking through it so this is the alley i've gone through here so many times on the bmx i don't even remember if i've been through here on a Suron actually now that i think about it but we are now i'm gonna take this left playing that peso puma we're gonna keep on going and not get copywritten today i mean i was just uh you know quick little sightsee tour we're gonna pop through here and go through the next alley which is straight got the full green outfit on oh. Okay, let's pick up some speed as we navigate through these next few alleys. This is the one I think I came through. No, it's not. This is not the one. I thought this was the one that was flooded last time we tried to come through it. I'm surprised after this huge amount of rain we just had, there's almost no flooding out here in the entire city. 
it's relatively dry i'd have to say uh okay let's go ahead and keep going a little bit further south we're very close to skid row if we make a left pretty much at any point right here we're gonna end up smack dab in the middle of skid row but for now we're just alley surfing a little bit a little bit of graffiti right there which is uh Strange. You don't see that much gang graffiti out here in this part of downtown, which is uh, ironic, right? Because this is apparently the most dangerous part of LA. Not too much gang activity out here, though. We're actually down on San Pedro Street now, so we're going to go left here and uh, double back somewhat to get back towards it. Ooh. Clean bunny hop. Bunny hopping this thing is by no means as easy as doing it on a BMX, but it's, uh, it's possible. It's just a different trick to it, and it's a little bit harder. It's definitely harder. It's a 120-pound bike compared to a BMX. is about 20-something pounds, like 22 pounds or something like that, I think my bike weighs. So a little bit more challenging, but once you start getting the technique, it's not that hard. All right, so we're pretty much... Did he just ditch his bike? Oh, he said F it, huh? He's like, dude, I don't even need this thing anymore. It's a pretty nice bike, too. Huh. I wonder why he just ditched it like that. Oh, he's grabbing something. We got the e-scoot. That thing looks pretty cool. Damn, they're mobbing. That's fun. Interesting. All right, anyways. Oh, no. I just broke the glass. It's over. It's over. It's over. I might as well just ride home now. Hmm, she's yelling at me or what? Anyways, we're, this is the border of Skid Row, kind of. This is where it's going to start to uh, pick up. So, two fun facts I want to point out. The beauty of LA right here, folks. A couple of nice bike parts over there, actually. In the cut. I thought I saw a dog in there. I was wrong. Look, they got a whole e-bike shell. Just chilling. Lots of bike stuff. Lots of just random crap. So, we're going to keep going around the other side of this. There's like... There's like a, uh, a big field. I don't know if it's actually still there. And last time I came through here on my bike, it was kind of crazy looking. So we're going to check out and see if it's still there, but it may not be actually. All right, we're ripping. This is pretty much the edge of the fashion district. Once you keep going one or two more blocks that way, it's, uh, it starts changing pretty quick. This side of the street is also crazy. It looks like there might be a fire going on right here. This is what I was talking about. So we're going to take our time right here on this street and uh, examine. First off, check out the row of bikes neatly aligned. That's actually kind of interesting how they're, it kind of looks like they're, uh, it's like a bike museum. So this used to, this entire thing, first off, these were tarps. So you had to like peek through it in little cracks like that. And this entire area was full. There are people living here on the opposite corner and, uh, you know, all over the place here. Looks like there's still some stuff going on in the alley right there. Is this open? No, this is kind of open. Go ahead and check it out just a little bit. I don't know if this is an alley that we can actually ride down. And if it is, I don't know if I do want to ride down it. Yeah, it kind of is. It dead ends though, and there's nowhere for us to get through. But as you can see, Nobody in here right now, but it's kind of like a makeshift structure. Here's the way in if we wanted to get in there. I kind of do want to get in there, actually, but we're going to pass on it for today. <laughs> the odds of riding through a needle are just astronomically high. It's the highest that there will ever be anywhere that I ride in L.A. So we're going to go ahead and pass on that for today. You know, what's going on, my man? How you doing? Uh huh. Anyways, I smell that fire. It is very, uh, very smelling like fire. How you doing? But yeah, these are the structures I was talking about last time. They're full on built out of pallets. A little bit less construction than you see usually, but still a little bit of something. I think those cats are yelling at me. I don't know. I would gladly double back and talk to him, but I can't hear anything with this helmet on because I have earplugs in. They may have been talking to me, they may not have. Anyways, we're actually going to double back the same road. So yeah, this is uh, this is LA in a nutshell for you right here, at least downtown. So when they say that, I'm sure they include Skid Row in the downtown, you know, um, stats because it's not just, it's not just downtown 
where the quote unquote high crime rate is because Skid Row is obviously part of downtown, right? So I don't foresee them. I'm sure that they just included both. Oh my God. They almost crashed. <laughs> yeah, they actually almost crashed. I caught out of the corner of my eye that uh, Tahoe wasn't looking where he was going. I almost crashed into a bridge truck. That probably would not have been cheap insurance wise. So, uh, yeah, and avoided a catastrophe. Anyways, last side of the garments district before we hit this right on Wall Street. This is like uh, fabrics, you know, stuff like that. There's a flower district very close to here, too. We're going to back it up so we don't get run over by this big old truck or anything else. Chill day today. I know we're not neighborhood cruising. I needed to change the pace. I wanted to come out to some city life. I feel a little bit more just uh, able to relax when I'm in the city as compared to the neighborhoods. I feel like I'm a little bit more on edge. To be honest, I'm kind of on edge everywhere I ride nowadays. I don't know how much more of this I got in the tank of, of uh, doing Suron cruises, but as long as I continue to enjoy it, I'm going to keep doing it. That's pretty much how I've been doing my YouTube channel for the last seven years. And when I get tired of doing something, I move on to the next thing. And that's just... Uh, that's how we keep it rocking, honestly. Look at that, that looks sick. All right, I don't know why I curb cutted it. Let's go ahead and get right back off. Well, once we pass 8th Street right here, we're pretty much in the skid. The next street, we're gonna keep on going straight. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. Right next to where I used to live. Where I used to live, this is the parking lot. This one right here. And on the other side of this block used to be my old apartment, the U-Room. Anyone remembers that? Old high-rise out here in downtown LA. Huge waste of money. And also a horrible apartment. That place sucked. There were so many things going on behind the scenes while I was living there that were just miserable. Uh, fun fact, I actually had to end my lease there. It was so bad. I ended up moving out uh, two months before my lease was even up because I had a huge amount of packages stolen from me one day. And they refused to take... Um, any responsibility for it basically so i had to you know take some action against them basically and that led to them saying all right what do you want to do about this i was like dude i just want to get out of here honestly so they we cut our lease and i left ended up saving about six thousand which is about how much i lost in packages so it was sort of evened out it still sucked but uh the alternative would have been like a messy albeit short legal battle but you know is what it is anyways we are in skid row We are here, and we are going fast. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna hit a right right here, and we're gonna cut back down to San Pedro Street, which is where we were originally gonna cut through to get through here. And uh, we're gonna start taking a quick tour. We're gonna hit this right on Wall Street, cut a left, and then another left back on San Pedro. And uh, we're gonna start seeing what's going on out here. It's been a minute since I've been out here, and it was before the rain had started coming down. So it was, uh, it was a while ago. Lots of little nooks and crannies like this, but uh, you know, you see Skid Row a lot more on the on uh. I've been seeing Skid Row a lot more often on uh, on the news and on YouTube lately, but it's still the same to me. It's still the same. We're gonna wrap around. I'm gonna show you the same route that I used to take coming up and down. Oh, dude, that's a cute dog. Uh, to get to my car when I parked out here, when I worked over on Fifth in Los Angeles, which is right around the street that way. But uh, hold on, let's check out this street right here. San Julian, San Julian, I don't know how we're gonna call it. But uh, look at the amount of bikes. Can't be speeding. Yeah, a lot of bikes. How you doing? Cool cats chilling. I think he complimented Sir. Like I said, I can barely hear anything anyone's saying to me. And uh, it's partially why I rarely slow down when I'm out riding this thing to have conversations because it just takes a couple seconds when you're out in these parts of town that I ride in to have someone engage you in conversation. I just hear a dog barking. I'm like, what the hell? And then get pulled up on uh, while someone else is talking to you and then another person pops up. You know, it's, <laughs> I don't know if that sounds crazy for me to say that, but it's extremely common, like extremely common. I've been robbed like that once in my entire life i know another person who's been robbed like that as well uh it's just that's the most common way it happens someone's talking to you they sound like they're having like a conversation like they're interested in something that you got going on your bike your camera your helmet whatever and then someone comes up and robs you either knife point i've been robbed by knife point i've had a gun pointed in my face before 
you know, these, <laughs> these are stories I don't think I've ever even told, but sometimes I ride through certain areas that, uh, you know, remind me of certain things that I've done or have had happen to me in the past. So there's a clip of me from years ago. One of my first YouTube videos actually was some guy trying to rob me in Skid Row. A lot of people think that video is fake, but that shit was 100% real, bro. It was 100% real. Some dude ran up on me. I don't know what weapon he had. It was very late. It's probably like midnight or 1 a.m. I was leaving work and I was riding down 5th Street, reverse traffic. I was going the other way against traffic. And um, yeah, some dude ran up on me as I was coming right down the middle of the street. That's how I always rode. I had my big ass vlog camera. It was a Sony A7S with a Gorilla Pod, a big old microphone. I look crazy, right? You know? And uh, and yeah, I was lined up, bro. Someone had they tried to, I see a huge dog in the middle of the street. Um, okay, it's on the next block. We're good. Dude, this street is nuts, right? This street is it's just it's very, uh, very crazy. It looks like a pretty dog, honestly. It looks like a black lab. This was the street right here. I'd come down this way. We're going to turn around and go back up it the other way. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys the exact spot where someone tried to run up on me, too. This area is very clean compared to last time we came down here. Probably didn't have anything to do with the rain that just swept through, but it's definitely cleaner than it was last time. Anywho. So that's kind of like the southern edge of Skid Row. We're at the southern border of it, so to speak. As you can see, it immediately cleans up. This part of the city, like, they don't mess around when it comes to, like, what they allow to go down. Like, if you see someone, like, touching that little corner right there, they probably have been there for a really long time, and they have the rights to to be there because there's a lot of politics in Skid Row about who gets to set up camp where and who gets to be where on what street and all that stuff. So, so anyways, we're gonna make this right. And we're gonna go right again, a couple streets up. All right, so there's a little taste of the Skid Row action. It's been a minute since I've been down here, honestly. I mean, it's not like I come here very often for any reason, but you know, on this channel, I show you guys places that you would probably never see otherwise. That's what I always say. And um, I've been through all these places so many times, like I don't really have any fear going to them. And I don't think there should be fear riding through anywhere in LA. That's kind of like my my brain mantra as I do what I do, right? It's like this, everything you see is that I do is public access roads. Why should people be afraid of riding down them or exploring them? But I understand most people just won't ever. So that's kind of why I try to uh, show you guys as much as I can of areas of LA that are very, seldom explored you know in any way or shape or capacity coming up this next intersection is the one where i got ran up on right here it's just this it, i don't even i really don't have words for how wild it is out here but it's been like this for decades i don't know just as long as i can remember it's been exactly like this i've always wanted to go inside that park i've never been in there it's uh they got a basketball court i think no this is not the basketball court one there's another one with the basketball court this is the exact intersection I got ran up on. I was coming this way. Yo, 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 yo! At 1 a.m. Midnight or 1 a.m. Sometime around there. So uh, that's the story behind that. More, more stuff going on. Hey, how you doing? And then we're on the eastern border of Skid Row. So as you can see, Skid Row is relatively contained as a... Uh, quote unquote neighborhood within downtown it's 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 got its hard limits and once you pass that limit you don't see anything like what you saw on the street prior i mean there's a couple exceptions like that but uh look at this miata just street park it actually looks sick it's got a flat tire though uh, if anything this would be like the very edge of it and as you can see not every spot on the sidewalk is taken because it would be if it could be if, if that makes any sense if if people could look at this van <laughs> don't get in that van <laughs> if people could take all the space up here they would so um some of the businesses here do their best to try and keep people from camping in front of them but there's only so much you can do you know okay so we're gonna make a left here and one more left and then we're gonna go back through take one more cut through we really saw most of the major uh streets and avenues of skid row today even though it was pretty quick right that's how small it actually is a lot of people probably think it's like this big sweeping neighborhood park area downtown but it's really like i want to say it's like five or six square blocks if that makes sense like blocks in either direction five blocks north and south five blocks east and west i'm sure some locals would uh can back me up on that number but it's really not that big it's crazy how much is 
is uh, concentrated in such a small area out here, but we're back on Wall Street, which is where we're gonna make a left. And one thing that I find, I wouldn't say it's funny, but it's semi-ironic. There's a police station right in the heart of Skid Row. And it's like, you gotta imagine, those guys are probably stretched so thin, right? There's there's only so much they can do out here to, uh, to take care of the immense amount of crime that's going on at any given second. Yeah, so this building in front of us is a police station, motorcycle cop right there. That is the exact same one we saw on the way in that didn't give me the nod back, so could get interesting. There's actually a pretty heavy police presence out here today. There's another cop out there making a left. Yeah, he's going, how you doing, player? But, uh, you know, I don't know. It seems a little bit more hectic. Also, look at the, the amount of graffiti on the walls over there. There's a lot going on here at any given moment. It's kind of, <laughs> you got to have your head on a swivel for sure more here than i'd say anywhere else you gotta like uh constantly be paying attention to what's going on around you yeah he doesn't care about the saran that's the second time i've seen him he doesn't care there's a detective right there you can tell by the ca exempt plates uh there's definitely a, a police presence out here but it's like there's only so much they could do right and also if they prosecute half of the people out here you got to remember at least i feel like the police out here look to gain something from prosecution of uh of people another detective right here see i'm saying there's a lot more there's a police station right here it says police but it's covered up slightly there's a lot more police presence out here than i usually see i don't know it's a little uh it's a little bit more you know it's a little what am i even trying to say i don't know <laughs> it's just uh, it feels a little bit more tense out here today than any other day we are on the heel of a huge storm, but that usually doesn't make any type of difference. I don't know. Interesting. Anyways, there's still definitely more areas of it that we haven't seen in full. There's always a couple more uh, streets. If we go further south, it gets to even, look at that, damn. Big pile of stuff, just uh, clothes. You know, people out here on the streets of their belongings, man. It's really, it is wild. Anyways, if you've never seen Skid Row, now you have. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today. As always, comment down below if you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Peace out.